Awakening Wood. Greetings to everybody from the just Welcome back to Let's Play Pikmin 2 for GameCube. In the last episode, we were on day two. We were still at the first stage and we discovered a cave. Discovered also purple Pikmin, which we're about to learn a little bit something about here right now. Because of course there has to be a cutscene with the ship because he has to interrupt everything. Good morning, and should please you to know the purple Pikmin are lodged safely in my hole. The confines of my interiors seem to suit them perfectly, though they do occasionally tickle me. Fool, you are a ship! Stand in the ring of light below me and press A to call the purple Pikmin out. So now the ring in front of your ship now has a purpose since we're not dealing with the ship pieces anymore. Good. Also, it does still he heal you, too, so that's that. Anyway, so yeah, we'll bring out uh, ten, our ten purples. Hooray! Goody. So we obviously see down there we'll need blues. Yes, obviously blue, like I said once before, blues are still in this game. Louie, you have fun chilling here. I'm gonna go kill some enemies. Whoa! Whoa! That's not fair! Lowey, has Olimar instructed you on the peculiarities of the Pikmin creatures? They're the Pikmin form groups based on color when disbanded with X. Grabbing Pikmin with A will also cause them to group by color. Now for the bonus lesson, ellipses. After grabbing a Pikmin with A, you can press left or right on the D-pad to swap it for another color. This is the first time you have heard this. I'll let Mar remember who you are. I mean, remember to properly train new employees. Olimar is not a good employee himself. No! I don't think so, bitch. You don't take my Pikmin. You don't get to take my Pikmin from me. Not because of a stupid cutscene. Now here's the cool thing. Switch it to a purple. We're targeted at this bastard. They will stomp on and freaking destroy him. <laughs> Yay. So also, purple Pikmin cannot be uh, created the, si the same way that Red Pikmin can, because they can only come from Candy Pop Buds. So Red Pikmin can be brought out from the Onion, just like this, just like in the first game, but Purple Pikmin require the uh, Candy Pop Buds. So, just bring that up now, letting everybody know that. Iridescent Flint Beetle! Look at this! No autonomy! But you know what, I'll show this. Hey! You bastard! There! Aha! You can hit him a total of three times. Good. Now that we have ourselves a team... Oh good, he's already carrying that, that's good. Okay. Come on team, get back together. Everyone all together? Good, good, good. Okay. Now for it to point out the other lesson again. More sheer grubs. Cool. Here it goes. Yep. Has to tell us. Go ahead. Tell us. There we go. Alamar, we have a problem, ellipses. The onion has ceased ejecting seeds. Is it malfunctioning? Interesting. Ellipses. It now seems the number of life forms within the onion has increased. Didn't you note that no more than 100 Pikmin will venture onto the planet at once? Ellipses. But I currently observe only 95 on the surface. Could there be wild Pikmin somewhere? What? Curious. So there are other Pikmin elsewhere. Isn't that something? 
we'll worry about that later. Right now, Louie, help me pick. We got a lot here. You got a lot to pick right here. Everyone all together? Good. It's time to feed. As per usual, flower up, everybody. Yeah! The Pikmin that drank the yellow nectar instantly matured into flower Pikmin. It appears to have enhanced motor skills. What a wondrous nectar. How intriguing ellipses like plants pigment mature from leaf to bud to flower. Captain Olimar, you must share the information you have with your subordinate, Louie. We are babysitting Louie and we're not even a good captain. Seriously, Olimar's not a good captain and yet we are having to babysit Louie. Also, Nectar! It doesn't just completely go away when Pikmin use it. It uses however much the Pikmin themselves use. So you can still s keep it amongst... Well divided amongst them. Also, purple Pikmin have different colored flowers. Cool. Just, just throwing that out there. Hmm. Can't do anything over here yet. Unfortunate. Alright, everyone back. So, let's see. Oh, whoops. I just changed my captain. Two used to hit and Y here. Okay. Since you can't go that way, that way's obviously water, but we can go this way. So, let's see what's over this way. Let's see, let's see. We have ourselves a wide clearing, it looks like. Okay. Curious. What is all this? Pikmin. Attack this whatever it is. Interesting. There we go. So they all just took something. No idea what, but they all just took it. And we're gonna learn about it. Ooh! Astounding, this red berry contains an ultra-spicy essence. It does not appear to have any monetary value, but I shall research potential uses for it. Bring me another specimen. It's a demanding ship, isn't it? Oh, all of you break down this thing. All of them are you stay here and protect them. I don't trust whatever's on the other side of that gate to not screw with us. Hmm, curious. I sworn that they got all of them. Yeah, go ahead, carry it. If you can't tell, you need ten of these things, by the way. That should be our tenth one? Yep, it is. Good. Captain Alamar, my research on the red berries you discovered has yielded a powerful potion. Behold the ultra spicy spray. Although it is untested, I believe it will have spectacular results. Spray it on all your Pikmin by pressing down on the D-pad. When necessary, I can produce one bottle of spray from ten berries. Press start slash pause to contact me and confirm your berry count. Look at L in the radar screen. Yep, so if we hit start, boom. Items, it shows us ultra spicy spray. What does said spray do? 
Um, you see how, basically I'll just tell you this. You see how they're all flowers? Yeah, they become stronger than flowers. Really, that's the best way of putting it. That's oh, just more nectar. Yeah, it's a spray that basically makes them doubles their strength and speed. Anyway, we're now waiting for them to take down this gate. There we go. Hooray. So now we have a fun one to deal with. I hate this enemy. Ah, yarn! No, no, no. Ah, save your friend! No, he got one. Carry him. Carry him to his demise. Feast on him. Oh, hey. This area looks familiar, doesn't it? Hmm. Strange. It looks a little bit familiar. Almost kind of gives me hope of some kind. Nah, I'm probably reading too much into things. Ah, oh, excuse me. Stupid thing. Two hundred? That'll take way too long. Yeah, this, I'm going to need more. Can't go this way, obviously. So, let's check it this way. Oh, jeez, um! You ass! I don't remember how to fight this thing, honestly. Yay, purples! Destroy it! Lost a couple to that thing. Holy crap. I did. I honestly didn't remember how the hell to destroy that thing. Wow, okay. Huh. I could go this way, but I don't like what happens if I do right now. I'm not willing to show it either, because it just creeps me out too much. So we have another cave over there, though. That's literally the only place we can go right now. So, guess we'll be going to the cave. Well, I'll wait for them. I guess I might as well have all my Pikmin go ahead and gather up more Ultra Spicy Spray. Hmm. We are waiting for them to be done getting Ultra Spicy Spray. Yeah, waiting for them to pick the berries. So we can make more of the spray. It actually sounds really bad when I say it that way. Whatever. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, pluck. Yay, we now have two. 95 Pikmin with us again. Strange, there's still another five we can't see. And as a matter of fact, we actually, I believe... Huh, look at that. Isn't that interesting? Can somewhere... Hmm. We can. Curious. But we can't reach them right now, so we won't worry about it. For right now, let's instead... Flower up! Which is really just so much easier in this game. Thank goodness for that programming of everyone gets equal share of that. Rather than just having one potentially eat the entire thing away and wasting it. But now with that said, let's dive down below! <laughs> My logical sensors are reacting violently. The readings are ominous. A beast of unknown power lurks in these depths. A large Pikmin group would be reassuring. My sound sensors are picking up hostile roars of many beasts. Expect dangerous encounters. Sensors are also showing extreme heat pockets. You may need flame resistant Pikmin. Ellipses. Red Pikmin. But my records indicate no such data. Are my records incomplete? Kyle Olimar really isn't a good captain if he didn't note that. Okay, whatever. Oh, look at that. One of the circles is lit up. Fire. So that those obviously indicate our dangers. 
Hooray! Down into... I didn't read the name of it. Was was it? Cave of Beasts, I believe? Game has been saved, yay. Hole of Beasts. Sub-level one. This looks interesting. Hmm. So what do we have over here? Anything of interest? Nope. Yep, so this one deals a l even more with exploration. This game deals with, uh, even more with exploration than the first one, because this one involves, obviously, underground uh, mazes and such. Go ahead, someone carry it. Have fun. You have to be cautious, too. Don't wanna... Sheer group! Ah! More sheer group! Mm -hmm. Oh, no. Oh! Wow, look at that. A treasure. Cool. Okay, get all my Pikmin back now real quick. I don't want to leave any here. Hooray! It's a D-pad! Aim. Stone of Glory. Heh. <laughs> okay. Worth a hundred. Cool. There's that sound again. What is that? That's curious. I might as well just say it now. That sound, if you ever hear that sound... It means that the floor you're on is done with treasures. There are no more treasures on the floor you're on. It's... You're not really supposed to know that. Oh, Jesus! Destroy it! Destroy it! God. God. Douche. Anyone else want to help him care? No? Only one? Only one perk? Okay. Alright, so that's it for this floor. Everyone, let's go down to the next one. Delve deeper with your Pikmin? Yes, sir. Yes, please. Let's do it. Woohoo! Awesome! Saving again. Game has been saved. Hole of Beasts, sub level 2. Oh, it's pretty down here. I could get used to this. You guys see what I see? Purple candy pop buds. Yay! Is this safe? Also, you can instantly break eggs with purple Pikmin. Just saying. Anything over here? Nope. Anything over here? Nope. Okay, so it appears that it's just, uh, just purple Pikmin? Hmm. Not sure whether or not to trust it. Oh well. What the hell? Louie, help me pick. Hooray! Except now we got more purple leaves. Ugh. We don't need purple leaves, dang it. Thankfully, we have this nectar back here. Eat up, everyone! Ah, oh, one leaf survived? Dang it! We're gonna have to kill him. We're gonna have to kill him. He might as well be dead anyway. So that's our way out. Anything over here? Nope. Anything over here? Nope. 
So, that was just a nice... There are occasional sub-levels like that where the nice, calm, and peaceful. So, we'll be heading back... So, next up is gonna be sub-level 3 in the next episode. So, ouch! <laughs> I apologize for those who heard that. That was actually my time, right? I didn't expect to actually make a noise. Stupid thing. I'm gonna have to fix that by next episode. So, join me next time and we will go to floor 3. Until then, this has been Dementis. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day. Adios.